Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ruth. If you're new here, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. You guys mean a lot to me. Thank you for clicking on to this video. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be discussing a topic that is very dear to my heart. It is how to make our houses or our homes smell nice. How do we achieve that smell that um be amazing smell that makes you just feel relaxed and feel at home when you enter into your home i know we have uh felt this feeling when we visit hotel rooms or maybe when we visit other people's houses when you just feel like this house is smelling nice it's not smelling like a fresh nice it's not smelling uh like anything um like anything fall but it's just smelling nice so today we're going to be discussing i'm going to be sharing with you tips on how you can make your home smell nice on this channel we're all about being intentional because houses that smell nice guys they just don't come you have to put in the work you have to put in the effort so if this is the type of content you like please stay tuned as i share with you some tips that i've learned along uh, along the years on how to make your houses smell <music> So first thing that I like, I like to open my curtains and my windows in every single room in the house as soon as we wake up to let the fresh air in. So do this and it will be, it will just bring some change into your house. Second thing, I like to take out the bin. I like to take out the trash. Yes, before I even do anything or start cleaning. And then I also clean the bin a bit. On this particular day, the day before, I had thoroughly cleaned and deep cleaned the bin. So here I was just wiping. It was not even dirty at all, but I was just trying to freshen it up with some Dito disinfectant kitchen spray. So I was just trying to freshen the bin up a bit before I put in a bin liner. And I'm using disposable uh, papers to just make sure that it is really it has really dried up before i added anything i'm just putting this soda to make sure that uh all the bed odors that might want to come up will be thoroughly uh destroyed and then i also like to add uh, the flora in there on a ball of cotton under the bin liner this will also help to remove all those bed odors and just keep the bean uh it's fresh and nice so there i'm just adding the new bean liner i don't throw away the old ones i just wash them and then reuse them. so after opening your windows and putting out your bean cleaning out your bean the next thing is you clean your house guys uh and you have to be intentional about the things that you use to clean your house the detergents that you use to clean your house i love to use detergents that clean and leave a lovely scent and for me, I love those uh, Cobra floor tile cleaners. I love to mop my floor tiles with this. The only downside is this doesn't form. So I just mix this with a bit of sunlight liquid and it works like a charm. Just put in some hot water and then I'll put some jig to disinfect and make sure my mop stays white. I use this and I love them. I interchange because I just love the smell. The next thing is handy end. Guys, I've never met a handy end that I don't like and that is very true. I like all my handy ends. In fact, I love them for to my cupboards. In case you didn't know, I'm going to share a little tip with you. Using this in your cabinets will actually chase away the cockroaches. You've got problems with cockroaches, just try the handy handy to use it. I don't know, maybe it's the smell or maybe it's the cleaning, I don't know, but cockroaches do not like this and you'll not see a cockroach in my house because I like to use this inside my cabinet. It leaves a nice smell and it cleans. Guys, what more would you want? I've tried other cream cleaners, but handy end is just the best for me. It's got this lovely scent I've got. So here I've got different types. I've got the pot pori, I've got the lemon fresh, and then I've got this lavender, they all smell good. And then for my kitchen countertops, I love to use this just when I'm pressing like when I'm not deep cleaning, but I just want to clean up maybe after eating or after cooking. I just want to clean up. I love to use this. It disinfects, it's ditto, and it's like uh, this pink grapefruit. I love it because it leaves a, a clean scent in my kitchen and it also it also smells really lovely. 
so for my wood furniture i love to use this i'm sorry guys i love to buy my detergents in bulk so i can just interchange so if this is a bit overwhelming for you i'm very sorry but these are like different i've got cobra i've got mr mask so this is the lavender this is the fruit blossom this is the fruit blossom cobra fruit blossom for my wooden furniture i just love to use this on my table on my chairs on my everywhere that is wood in my house i just have to put a bit of this and clean it up it leaves a lovely scent afterwards then for my upholstery this is for my velvet dining room chairs and for my carpet i love to use this it's it is the varnish and it works guys it really does work and it also smells really nice so you have to be intentional guys so here i've got my diy sprays uh what one thing i also love to do is to create my diy linen spray i buy these bottles but this i got it from zaflora i buy these bottles from the chinese shop they are less than a dollar then voila you've got your diy bottle you don't even so i just put maybe one lid of my comfort i love this comfort by the way guys i just put it in here and then i'll just put two leaves of this um of water because i just want it to be concentrated but i don't want it to be too concentrated then i just shake it a bit i use this on my curtains on my scatter cushions and it just leaves a lovely scent like i just shake it up there you have it diy linen spray curtain spray if you're not going to be washing your curtains anytime soon you just spray them and wow it smells amazing so this is my zaflora mix this disinfects you see me using my zaflora in the bin i love using zaflora guys it disinfects and it smells nice and it eliminates odors so um i love to just mix it up and put it in this bottle that i got from the flora and um i spray it on my door handles when i'm cleaning and i love it so so much and i also use this this is like a game changer it's not expensive it's an everyday uh pantry ingredient bicarbonate of soda gets rid of odor and then i've got vinegar vinegar is my go-to guys for when i'm cleaning my fridge when i'm cleaning uh making my diy spray this is vinegar water and dish soap it smells nice i also added a bit of the flora to just make it into a disinfectant spray and then i love to use essential oils guys when i'm cleaning i also love to use essential oils because they are not only they are organic especially this one they are organic and raw and they leave a lovely expensive scent in my house i just like to put a bit all over my house so let me show you how i use this to make my house smell nice this is how i like to freshen up my sink before we go to bed here i'm mixing uh, the lemon essential oil and a bit of bicarbonate of soda i just put it all around the sink and especially on the drain area oh my god this smells so nice guys uh the soda not does not only get rid of the bed odor but it is also a good scrubber to make your sink shiny so you can try it guys so i'm now just adding a bit more bicarbonate of soda to the sink and i'll just let it be leave it like that for 30 minutes then scrub it off here i'm just scrubbing it off then uh, i rinsed it then after rinsing it i just wipe it then i pour some hot water inside the drain this will just push all those oils and the nasty stuff down the drain then after that i just add drops of the lemon essential oil again oh my god this just leaves my sink uh smelling so fresh and nice before i go to bed next thing i like to use bicarbonate of soda also on my carpet i had an issue where my carpet did not dry on time and it was just giving this bad smell i tried this hack and guys it works you just uh, put bicarbonate of soda sparingly on your carpet then i also like to tweak it a bit and add a bit of essential oil i leave it on for about an hour then i vacuum or sweep that is all you have to do. 
yeah i've just add a bit that's the essential oil i added the lavender oil onto the carpet and then i just let the mixture sit for a bit then i vacuum it off do this guys and you never have bed smells on your carpet or on your bed this trick can also work on your mattress your mattresses you just put this and then you let it sit the carbon or soda the, the soda works well to get rid of bed odors so to make your house smell clean you have to get rid of bed odors also and soda is a very good best you should be your best friend when you're trying to get rid of uh best now now i'm just uh, freshening up my curtains with this diy linen spray and my chairs and my cushions to just make sure that this house smells good so this is me just uh, uh spraying this diy spray at the back of my chairs and on my scatter cushions while the house is smelling amazing now this is me i'm using my zaflora the disinfectant and the one that smells nice also cleaning my door handles this in this covid times you need this guys disinfect your door handles i also like to use my zaflora in my bathroom after cleaning i just put a bit of zaflora in my toilet uh, brush holder just a bit and then i put it down so the every time that i'm going to brush the toilet that's the flora scent we just fill the toilet i also put a cotton ball with the flora in my toilet bin uh now this is now taking into the next level add a bit of essential oil in this one i'm using lavender into your toilet roll so every time someone rolls the toilet paper that lavender smell fills your bathroom and it's just organic these essential oils are organic they're not going to do anything to anyone they're actually very therapeutic and they'll just leave your bathroom smelling fresh and nice I also like to spray my wood furniture with this uh, wood, wood sprays and they leave a lovely scent on my furniture guys. Until I can afford to buy a humidifier, I make my own. I just put boiling water in a bowl. Then I add uh, either essential oils or a bit of the flora in the bowl. Then I just put it on the, in the center of the house. Then the scent, as it evaporates into the air, the scent just fills the whole house. And the house smells amazing, guys. Try it and you thank me. Another thing I like to do is add scented candles and diffusers all over the house. This just bring uh, an expensive scent into the house, introducing exotic scents that are not so overpowering into the house. And they just leave um, a beautiful scent all over the house i also love to add room sprays into the house and uh these glade ones particularly i like them they don't smell like air freshness but they actually smell really nice guys so if you come across them just buy one and then you just put it in every corner of your house and your house will smell amazing anyway thank you guys for watching up to this part of the video i hope you learned a thing or two please comment down below and tell me what um, you've implemented in your house to make sure that it smells good and it smells amazing just share a tip or two with us in the comment section and let's just start a conversation ladies what are we doing to make our houses smell amazing till next time goodbye